I was, I was thinking about a big ideas because, you know, arrogantly enough, I, I look at my own ideas as big ideas. And one notion that I've, I've had and I've been very committed to lately is the older you are, the more you live in the past. This, it struck me one day because, that, that, you know, because a lot of people uh, get upset at young people. Let's say uh, young people are, you know, uh, aren't aren't living up to their potential. Young people uh, are interested in uh, things which which are uh, shallow, uh, which are meaningless, uh, which are unimportant. Um, but the truth is, is that the older you are, the more you your thinking is historical. And the more historical things become, especially in our world today where things change so quickly because of technology, the more they're invalid. So you find somebody who was raised in the, the, the Depression. They have notions of, of how economics and money works which are no longer valid, or at least, at least weren't until very recently. Um, you have people who, who, uh, who have notions of race, have notions of gender, which once seemed true in their lives. They might not have been true even then, but they seem true. But young people live exactly today, and they live in, 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 in the immediacy of their world. And it's important for us, people from older generations, to realize that a lot of our values, a lot of our truth, are no longer truth, are no longer valuable. And so I think that one of the great uh, notions uh, uh, to enact is that, hey, I have to remember that young people are living in this world today and I have to be advised by them as they are advised by me. It's a funny thing, the, 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 the notion uh, of what keeps me up at night no longer keeps me up at night. I, I think I used to worry about uh, money and uh, career and uh, what was going to happen. How was I going to uh, succeed or, or fail uh, in the world? And I thought about it enough that I'm no longer worried about it. I'm not, I, I don't worry about what's going to happen in my life. I don't worry, uh, as we talked about before, about telling me about dying, my own mortality. You know, that, that's, a, that's a given. Uh, I don't worry about being broke. I remember one day I was, I was talking to Gregory Hines. He, we used to live in the same neighborhood. And uh, I, I got in my first book published and I said, you know, Gregory, before I was working really hard, man. And I, I was so, and I, I wasn't making money. I was broke often. And before I could go on, he pointed in my face and said, and you will be there again. And it struck me like, wow, you mean it's not over? And then Ever since then, every time I go broke, I remember Gregory pointing in my face and saying, and you will be there again. And I laugh that, that there's a certain kind of cyclical nature to life and that um, I don't have to worry because whatever isn't there right now, it's coming back again.